Hi guys, Alexi here with some weekly gaming news brought to you by Mega Cat Studios. So we're halfway through 2022 and a lot of new games have been released on different platforms. Now you're probably wondering, what about our sweet retro games? Well that's why I'm here, to give you the 411 on what's new and kinda retro too. We're diving deep into the archives for a game that sadly never saw the light of day. It's common knowledge that Eid, software's first person shooter, Quake, has been ported onto basically everything. Just wait, it'll pop into your smart refrigerator any day now. But did you know that it was supposed to come out on the Game Boy Advance? Well, in the old times of 2002, veteran programmer Randy Linden was hard at work on a Quake prototype for GBA and a ROM actually exists. It's a game built from the ground up, using completely original assets. Sadly, it never came to be. When the GBA's run was ending, Linden took Quake's engine to create his own game. Cyboid, which was basically Quake's mobile, I think we have a whole lot of that happening already. Still, it's interesting to know about classic games like these, planned out, then stuck in time. Hopefully, we can dig up a few more in time. Speaking of ports and remakes, here's a new take on a classic fighting game. We're talking about Buccaneers Shipshape, an upcoming remake of the 1989 Buccaneers. If you're a fan of swashbuckling and kicking ass on the high seas, then this pirate-themed beat-em-up is a perfect game for you. Take control of one of four fearless pirates as you fight your way through countless enemies, both on and offshore, as you make your way to the Caribbean. It's old-school, side-scrolling action at its finest. Hack, slash, and jump your way into colorful stages as you complete your badass pirate journey. Buccaneers Ship Shape is a full remake of the 1989 Buccaneers arcade game, complete with all the bells and whistles. Duantronic's SA gave full support and they pulled out all the stops. So if you're a fan of brawlers like Renegade and Final Fight, but have scallywag sensibilities, then you'll have a ton of fun here. Aside from the usual moves, dashing, grabs, special attacks are also made possible. You can choose to go solo or do four-player local co-op to complete every stage and beat the game. The enhanced graphics are a nice touch too, very savvy indeed. There's no definite date for Buccaneer Ship Shape's official release, but best believe we'll have all our sales open once it drops. Now, the 2022 game releases aren't all about sparkly, shiny sequels and AAA titles. There's a little something for us 90s kids too. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge is an all-new arcade pixel art brawler that takes us back to a much simpler, more radical time. Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, and Michelangelo are back to kick some major butt with a sweet retro look. Dome was collaborating with Viacom International and Tribute Games to bring us his blast from the past. The game brings us back to the all-too-familiar New York as we take down the Shredder and the always menacing Foot Clan. From the sewers to Dimension X, you're guaranteed a fun and action-packed side-scrolling time. The current trailer out now gives us a bit of what to expect. A nice callback with a refreshing coat of paint. You can say goodbye to the jankier controls of older arcade machines and consoles, because this game runs smooth like butter. Play solo or in a party of six with updated game mechanics and a brand new story mode. Definitely worth checking out, especially if you're a longtime turtle fan. So grab a slice of pizza and scream cowabunga because the turtles are coming back on June 16th. Well, there you have it, your weekly news all condensed into a nice little package. As always, we'll be back for more, same time, same YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. And hey, make sure to drop a like on the video if you like what you see. Again, I'm Alexi, and I'll catch you again next time.